The reality is any drug is going to have potential adverse effects. Um, phenobarbital gets a bad rap for you know, liver damage, um, where that's relatively uncommon. It's common for us to have elevated liver enzymes, but actual liver damage that causes a problem is really, 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 really uncommon. It does cause dogs to drink more. It causes them you know, to be sedated, usually for the first couple weeks of treatment. It causes increased appetite, so dogs can gain weight. And I don't know if I said it already, they can drink more and therefore pee more. So, um, and then really rarely, it can cause problems with b bone marrow and can cause um, the red blood cells and the white blood cells and the platelets to all get very low and you know, those dogs can get very, very sick. Sure, are all of those things possible? Yes. Is phenobarbital overall a, a safe and effective drug? Yes. You know, whenever we prescribe any drug, we're looking at do the potential benefits outweigh the potential risks? And only if they're kind of in our favor and in the pet's favor, you know, are we recommending them to that client? I, I guess I don't have a reason to say, you know, based on what you're describing, gosh, phenobarbital is a, a bad drug <laughs> stop it as soon as possible. Okay. Th there are a, some things that we should be doing. You know, we should be making sure that the dose is appropriate for her body weight. We should make sure that her response to it is appropriate, that she's not getting overly sedated or the sedation, you know, isn't lasting for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, most of the time they're sedated a little bit at first and then they get used to it. You should be prepared to be giving the dose regularly. So we don't like to give it willy nilly, you know, skip one day, give it twice one day, give it once another day. We should try and be as regimen as possible in giving the medication, but then your veterinarian is going to want to do follow-up blood work to make sure that there aren't problems with the bone marrow, to make sure there aren't problems with the liver, and to test the amount of drug in her system, what we call uh, serum, um, serum drug levels, to make sure that you know when, if we give this dose for most dogs, it gets us in this range, but for some dogs, it gets us under it. Mm -hmm which means we're not treating as, optimal as we, optimally as we could. For some dogs, it gets too high, and that means we're more likely to run into those negative effects of liver damage or bone marrow problems. So, so that would be my answer on phenobarbital. It's, it's not a bad drug. It's actually a good drug, but we should be monitoring it to make sure that we're not running into problems. <clears throat> okay. If for some reason we are running into problems, there are other drugs, you know, especially for for a small dog like her, something like potassium bromide. Yeah, she takes just 0.5 milliliters okay. of that a day. So the same thing with that though, is we should be making sure it's the appropriate dose and should be doing drug levels because there are side effects of potassium bromide. Dogs drink more, they pee more. Rarely they can get um, associated with it. Pancreatitis, sometimes they can get a, an abnormal gait. Pretty much for any drug, I can list off potential side effects what we should be looking for and how we should be monitoring for those. Things like Keppra are an option. They're a little harder um, with a small dog. It does come in a liquid form, but it would be a three times a day medication. 